Hello, it's me, Miss Baldwin, and welcome to our fourth phonics lesson over YouTube. It's been rather exciting, hasn't it? Got to see my lovely house, or just my living room. And we're going to start today's phonics session. You'll need your whiteboard, your pen, and your rubber. And we're going to start off with one of our tricky words. I've come up with another funny rhyme to help you practice writing one of your tricky words. Can you tell me what this tricky word says? Were. Now, in my poem, we're going to use were in a question. But we can also use it to tell you about people doing things. They were eating chips. They were not eating chips. <laughs> they were buying toilet rolls at the supermarket. <laughs> so write were at the top of your board and you're going to write my little funny poem to help you practice were. We're also going to be using a question mark because my my poem has lots of questions in it so that's a question mark so you could write that on your board as well to help you remember the question mark now our sentence it must start with a capital letter and we're going to start with the word were and a capital w is just like a little one but it's a bit more pointy and it's a bit bigger so it looks like this w. my first question is were you at the park were I'll write it as well were you at the park now remember in park it's a k sound after a digraph so it's a kicking k isn't it after a digraph. At the end of our question, we don't need a full stop, do we? What do we need? A question mark. Were you at the park? Did you manage to write that? Were you at the park? Right, I'll carry on reading, uh, reading the poem for you to write and then we'll review it all together at the end. So the first question was, were you at the park? The next question for you to write is, were you on the swing? Were you on the swing? Swing don't forget your question mark were you at the park were you on the swing next one were you in a bush it's a funny question to ask remember your capital letter were you in a bush Remember your question mark? Were you at the park? Were you on the swing? Were you in a bush? And the last question is, were you in the bin? Oh, I make myself laugh. <laughs> were you in the bin? Make sure that you've spelt were correctly with a capital letter. I'll read it out again. Were you at the park? Were you on the swing? Were you in a bush? Were you in the bin? It sounds like something Dr. Seuss would think of. Just me, in self-isolation. Maybe I'm turning into Dr. Seuss. 
Shall we have a look then to see if we've got those were's correct? Were you in the park? Were you on the swing? Were you in a bush? Were you in the bin? Well done, good job. Okay, you can rub your board. I hope you've got a lot of energy. I hope you've had your Weetabix this morning because we're doing not one, not two, but three new consonant clusters. And we're doing three because there aren't that many words that go with them that, that have these consonant clusters in. And it's our last phonics session before the holidays, so I thought we'll squeeze them all in together. We can review them after the holidays, so no problem. Okay, our first consonant cluster, you can write this at the top of your board. It's got a, a digraph and then a letter afterwards. Sure, sure. Can you say that? Sure, sure. And I've got some words here that you will find that sure consonant cluster in. Put them the right way around, shall we? Here we go. Shrub, shrub. Shrimp, shrimp. Shrink, shrink. Do you remember our ink blend? Consonant blend. And last one, shred. Shred, you might like to shred your lettuce before you put it on the salad. So that's our sh consonant cluster. Shall we have a go at writing a couple of those words? So you can get the hang of it. You'll recognise it in words soon when you're reading. First, can you write the word shred? Thinking of all that shredded lettuce going into some tasty sandwiches. Or we can shred paper. Think bunny rabbits like shredded paper at the bottom of their hutch, don't they? Shred. Have you written it? Shred. Check it. Get it right. Shred. Well done. Next word, can you write shrub? Shrub. I've got a lot of shrubs in my garden. They need chop, chop, chopping. They're all everywhere. That's a job for the Easter holidays. Shrub. Did you get it right? Well done if you did. Shrub. And last word is shrimp. Shrimp. It's got the p at the end. Shrimp. Shrimp. Get it right. Well done. And that is sure. Next is one that's very similar, very similar to sure. And this one, we say it as thr. Can you say that? Thr. One more time. Thr. Now this is also a digraph and a letter smooshed together to our consonant consonant cluster. Thr, thr, uh, bit my tongue. Then. <laughs> don't do that. We don't want any accidents. Thr, thr. Let's have a look at some words with thr um, before I end up hurting myself. <laughs> Oh, my, my tongue's going to be doing this in a minute. Throb. 
throb, throb. My tongue is gonna be throbbing where I've bitten it. Next one, oh, we know this one, it's a number. But this is how we write it in letters. Three. And then last one, this is something very exciting. Maybe like going on a roller coaster or going down a water slide. Something really exciting is called a thrill. Thrill. Did you notice our, our um, double consonant at the end? Oh, the digraph, oh. Right, can you write these now? Get your pen ready. Can you write the word three? Three. I had three breakfasts this morning. Three. Three. Well done. Next, can you write the word thrill? Thrill. Can you remember which all went at the end of thrill? Well done. And last but not least, can you write the word, what's my tongue doing now? Throb, 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 throb. Well done if you got those right. <gasps> We're racing through. Right, are you ready for our last? Final consonant cluster. Following the ones we've done, it's got a er in it, but this has also got a blend in it as well rather than a digraph. Our next consonant cluster is str, 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 and this is what it looks like. Er, st er, st er, st er. Let's have a look at some words with the stir consonant cluster in. So first one is this. Str app. Strap. Strap yourself into the car with your seat belt. Next one. String. String. Well done. Next one is strong. Strong. And last one, can you read this one? Struck. Struck. I was struck by lightning. It wasn't really. It'd be interesting. Okay, get your pen and we'll we'll write some of these. Then we can do some sentences. First word I'd like you to write, please, is strap. Strap. It's got our cluster on and then it's got two more letters. Strap. 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 Did you get it right? Ready for the next one? Can you write the word strong? Strong, strong. Strong. Next word, can you write, well the last word actually. Can you write the word struck? Struck. 
don't want to be struck by lightning, thank you. Not today anyway. It looks like a nice day outside though. I don't think there's going to be any lightning. Struck. Well done. Oh, you're getting so good at these. So good. Okay, I'm going to now write a sentence for you to read. It's an absolute nonsense of a sentence because I've been really struggling to find, well, to, to think of sentences that make sense. So you, you're going to read this and you're going to think, Miss Baldwin, what a load of nonsense. But it uses our clusters. So we, we're only using it for the purpose of reading. It doesn't have to be real, does it? Right, I'll point to the words and then you can read and then we'll read it together afterwards, okay? shrimp sang to me for the thrill what a load of nonsense okay get your pen ready it is your turn can you oh i'm gonna be really mean now i'm gonna use the tricky word from today and the tricky word from yesterday oh how mean miss baldwin can you write the sentence there were, oh, that's both of those tricky words. Oh, I'm a meanie, aren't I? There were three There were three Shrubs. Shrubs. There were three shrubs hanging. Hang ing. Hang ing. There were three shrubs hanging on a string. Okay, I'll read it one more time and then we can check it over together. There were three shrubs hanging on a string. Did you manage that okay? Let's have a look. Did you get there? And were? Those were our tricky words, weren't they? There were three shrubs hanging on a string. Yay, well done. Good job. I'm very, very proud of you. Miss you all very, very much. I can't wait until we can do phonics in person again. But you are doing such a good job at home. Now I'm afraid this was our last phonics session before the holidays. 
but don't worry I will be making some more videos for after the holidays and we can carry on with our learning. I hope you're having a really nice time with your families and don't you worry we will see each other again very soon. Have a lovely holiday, enjoy and relax, you've been working so hard. See you soon.